you go to menu, menu, the zero button pushes you over to the next set of menus, and then uh, six for system, and in system you have this menu, and you go down to the one called single axis master. This is, we thought we had only broken uh, the J1 axis, the main rotation on the, anyway, you go into that, and it shows all of these ones were mastered at zero. Actually, this one only has four axes, so. So they actually went ahead and saved each one of these at zero. That's not always the case. In their case, the J1 was actually zero. The J2 and J3 were something else, like 124 and 56. I believe they're degrees in the case of uh, the robot that we were using. Here, I don't know what they are. But, and then here you can see what the actual position is. So what you would do is you could jog um, the robot around. These actual positions would change. Um, and in select, you would go down and put a one. Let, let me do it in a uh, axis that doesn't exist, just <laughs> in case. You put a one there and hit execute. And then, or shift it goes away and it, it sets that value to what the home value is. So if the home value was say zero and you knew you were off by 0 0.123, you could jog that axis to 123 over or under, whichever your case may be, and then you execute and that 123 becomes zero and you've just applied a permanent offset to that joint. So anyway, then you hit execute very important, you hit previous, and then uh, go down to here, calibrate, and you would hit enter, and then it'll pop up a little menu that says yes or no, and you would hit yes, because if you don't do that, it didn't save. And I found that out the hard way, because we had to contort that robot into some weird position in order to get it to the saved positions. I went through all that work and didn't save it, and so then I had to spend 10 minutes contorting the thing back into the little pretzel that it was supposed to be calibrated at. So that's how you would calibrate the joints on this type of menu. I don't know if that made sense or not. Anyway, the point is that you can do it, and if you don't know how, which you probably will have forgotten because you've seen this exactly once, call FANUC and they will walk you through how to do it. All you need to do is give them the model number and they know which menus that you're looking at but it can be done. So if you crash the robot really, really hard and you knock something out, and you're like, hey, we know that position A should be right here, but for some reason it's over there, we, we messed something up and we need to recalibrate that axis.